Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to talk you through some of the different views that you can have in PowerPoint. So first of all, I'm going to go into the View tab and show you the main area where you can source the view. So this is the Presentation Views area, and you can see there you've got Normal, Outline, Slide Sorter, Notes Page, so it's not really a view, and Reading View. Now, also, if you go to the slide show tab at the top there, you've got another view, use presenter view, which will allow you, if you've got two monitors, to see what's coming next with your notes and whereabouts you are on the slide. That would be, you would need to tick that on. Now, in the newer versions of PowerPoint, that is on by default. If you've got an older version, you might need to go into options and tick it on. The other area where you can get views is down the bottom here, You've got notes there, and then you've got these four icons. So you've got normal view, which is what this is. You've got slide sort of view. You've got reading view, which is you can read through the presentation before you show it. And then you've got that one there, which is to put it into full screen, the slideshow view. So first of all, what, what do you get in normal view? Well, you've got this set of slides down this left-hand side. This is like a mini preview. If you want to move things around, you can use this area to do just that. So if I wanted to move this slide above that slide, you just drag wherever you want it to go. And then just I'll just put that back because that is in the correct order. You can widen this and have more space or narrow it and have less space. It's totally up to you. You've also got in this view the option to add notes at the bottom there. Look. Now, if I just make that a bit bigger, so this is now reducing, and I'll go back to home and just add some notes. So I'll just do a bullet list and just type a note, Wellington. This is what I want people to talk about. And then Picton, for example, and then Uxbridge. When that slide comes up, that's what I want them to talk about. And then you can reduce that if you so wish. Now you've got this little icon here which does exactly the same, hides it or shows it. So if you've expanded it like I did there, that hides it, that brings it back to the same expanded area. Just drag this back down, don't need it just yet. So that's the normal view. Now if I go to the view tab, you've also got this outline view. Now you can get into the outline view by clicking this. If I click that, it'll show you that is the outline view. I'll just move this across. A little bit if I go back to normal view you can also get into the outline view by just clicking the normal view icon down here again and then again that just toggles between the two in the older versions of PowerPoint you had two tabs at the top there one saying slides one saying outline don't know why Microsoft got rid of it seems a backward move to me now if I go into outline view what you also used to have would be a toolbar that, to allow you to move things up and down if I right click in this area, you do get that option, promote, demote, move up and down, etc. But that's click it on, click it off. It's slightly irritating, I think. Uh, it's not as good as what it used to be. But the idea of this is, A, you can type in this view, quickly create a slide. So if I press enter there and just type some rubbish, you can see how it works. Press enter, shift tab, back to a slide. Press enter, tab, bullet on that slide, and so on and so on. I'm just going to get rid of all what I've just done there. So that's what you can do if it's mainly uh, text slides that you're doing. You can do that, but you can see when there's no text, it's just an image or a chart in that case. You don't actually get anything there. So you've just got to be careful you don't delete something off accidentally. But what is this for? This is for you wanting to move bits and bobs around. So, for example, if I wanted to move this, these two onto a different slide, let's say I want to put them down onto this slide, I can just drag them down and position them onto that slide and now it's dropped in there. It's on the wrong slide, so I'll just push it back up. But you get the idea of how you can move text as opposed to moving the whole slide. That's the whole slide. If you're just stuck on this view, you're basically just highlighting it, cutting it and pasting it, which is just a little bit longer than it would be in that view. So that's what that's for. An additional use of this is in Word, if you've used heading styles in Word, you can send that heading style document into a PowerPoint presentation and wherever it finds a heading style one, it will create a slide. 
wherever it finds a heading style 2 it would be a bullet on the slide like this there heading style 3 would be a sub bullet on that so it's very useful if you're using documents in word to drop them into powerpoint gives you the structure and then you can just add extra things in and that will come into outline view now next to that you've got slide sort of view which is a, a bigger view of the mini preview that you get on the normal view it's a bigger view than this this will also show you with these little stars any animations you have so that's like a transition dissolve if you click it it just gives you a little preview but you can also move things around in the same sort of way in this view just drag and drop where you want them to go and you can quickly move them around the other way of getting into slide sort of view would be to click on this icon in the bottom right hand corner there now the next one at the top says notes pages i'll just click on to notes pages so that's the notes i've just done on that particular one you can see how that works now you've got i'm on page five or note five of 12 as you scroll down i'm rolling the mouse down i don't think i've got any other notes on any other slide just part of the one i just did there now i've got it duplicated there look as well so i've already done that once before but that's what this is all about looking at the notes that are attached to each slide which is easier i suppose to look at than just looking at it in this view in the normal view so that's notes pages there it is a view i suppose even though it's called it should be notes view i would imagine if it's in the views bit now the reading view the last one there lets you look through your presentation clicking away reading it as if it's actually happening in real time so you can see how this would look like so so i'm just clicking through that there you can see the animations going on this and then it just clicks over to the next i'll just press escape on that it's almost identical to putting that into full screen which is the last one in this little set it's also not sitting up there which is strange you haven't got presentation view there or slideshow view as it's called down here now you can see this is similar to the reading view except it's in full screen and if i right click you've got all these options as well as you would normally expect i've also got the presentation view sitting on my screen at the bottom press escape on that so those are the main views down the bottom there now the other one i mentioned was on the slideshow tab you have got use presenter view that basically shows what's coming next on your laptop whereas this screen that you're looking at now would be actually the projector also on here you've got these icons where you can click so that's the same button as the one down the bottom there which sets the thing off and you can play around with this whatever slide you're on and just click away so these are just some of the default views that you've got in um, PowerPoint just a quick overview Hopefully it's been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.